Alright, my stomach feels just a tiny bit ill, and I think it might be because of the tomatoes. So, I want to feed my stomach now, focus on it by cho choosing, uh, I'd say orange foods, I'm not sure what I could find, but I have polenta in mind at least. I'm unable to cook corn, but there is cooked corn called polenta, and a lot of, sold in a lot of stores, I think I'm going to look for that at least. But I'll try to focus on orange colored foods too. Yeah, I picked up the new bicycle, but it takes up just a little more space than I expected. A little more space than the other bicycle, but that's okay, it's better. Alright, so about the only adjustments I've had to make on it were in the handlebar, like this little, this little uh, thing that's sticking out with the VR. Uh, that's, that caught me by surprise actually, I was, I was uh, riding it and then made a couple of turns to test it out and it twisted, I needed to tighten that, so that comes loose. Also, the front brake was like, it just wasn't even connected. I had to connect it and then uh, tighten it up, which is pretty easy to do, actually. That's why I prefer this, uh, this brake system, the disc, over, over um, the hydraulics. It's just easier to work with. And other people have said that, too. Ogden is considered like a central hub for the trains and they were in a competition in the early 1900s from what I understand with uh, Park City <laughs> so they competed against Park City or something and got the main focus of train tracks here to really you know, increase business population and pretty much shut down the, their competitive city. It's, and it's still, still running fairly strong as mostly a uh, commercial activity. And man, it's busy here. And it feels pretty good to go downhill knowing I got brakes. <laughs> we gotta take a right at 300, and I'm at 550 here. Really lost brakes because I adjusted the brakes with this thing on the outside. It fell inside and then I lost all my brake. So I need to adjust it for that being inside. I just didn't know. I'm doing some serious climbing around here in the southern part of Ogden. It'll be one heck of a trip going back. It'll be all downhill. So now I'm looking to take a right on 500. And still I'm going up a hill. This is incredible. It's just been up a hill the whole time. Good workout. I'm actually getting tired because there's no no more clipping of the of the crank. So now what's only slowing me down is my own 
my own physicality. 660, 66 degrees and 419. I was, thinking, I, think I was talking to this one guy and I think he said Parkway is a good place to check out, but according to the sign there's a toll for it on the road. I'm not interested in that. Okay, this says it's 500 on the, the Google Maps, but it says Adams Avenue Parkway and no 500. I'm glad the dot can follow me. It's fairly busy around here. Oh yeah, that's right. I was interested in checking out the medical center, which was supposed to be pretty close to the library. This might be the one. Medical Arts Building at Ogden Regional. Mountain Star. <clears throat> Looks like plenty of room for parking, both for bicycling and drivers. Huge lot. They gotta, they gotta make room when the main library goes out on the 11th for a year. <laughs> a year that's that's tough there are so many poor people downtown that hang out at that library that's gonna be tough amphitheater Thank you. 